If you have any questions as to how much pressure was in there, we just shot water all the way across the parking lot. That is crazy. But hopefully you can see how straight this one is and how curved that one is. Is a water heater from a box store actually different than the ones that you can buy at a professional plumbing supply store? In this video, we take them apart and we examine each piece side by side individually and we even weigh them to see if there's actually any differences. We then put this whole matter to rest by hooking the water heaters together and then pumping enormous amounts of pressure into them until one of them pops. All right, here we are with our two units. We've got the professional plumbing Hopefully supply store unit over here on my right. And, and on my left, we have the box store unit. The professional grade unit, $628.13 plus tax. The box store unit, $519, no cents plus tax. Everybody on the internet likes to say, oh, it's a supply and demand thing, or it's because the box stores sell more, so they're cheaper, or whatever the case may be. And they all circle back to the one saying that you're gonna hear us say over and over in this video, they're the same heater. No, they're not. The first test we're gonna put these through is we're gonna weigh them in the box before we take anything out of the box. 130. Same thing with this one. 135.4. Our pro grade unit weighs five pounds more than our box store unit. Now we can start looking at these a little bit more. Now that they're out of the box, we can get some visual differences between the two. This one, we have a plastic drain valve. This one, we have a metal drain valve. This door is fairly flat, has a very pronounced curve on it, and then goes back to being fairly flat. This one comes away from the heater, has a less pronounced but larger curve, and then goes back to the heater. This temperature pressure relief valve has a yellow tag hanging on it that's kind of a warning label. This one does not. This pressure relief valve is also substantially larger. These nipples come out far enough that you can actually see some flat pipe under the threads. These over here don't. Let's weigh them now that they're out of the box. 112.8 with the pro grade unit. 123.6. We're 10 and a half pounds different. Let's start taking apart these heaters piece by piece to see just how different they are. We can pop our flue baffles off. Pro grade unit, 5.3 ounces. Box store unit, also 5.3 ounces. So that's good, kind of. There is the flue baffle, two pounds, three ounces box store unit were two pounds, two ounces. The pro grade baffle is longer by about four or five inches. On the box store unit, we have six rounded tabs and two squared tabs. On the pro grade unit, we really only have four rounded tabs and no squared ones. We're gonna pull the nipples out of the top of these units and see if there's a difference just in those. You can see a stark difference on the hots just between the two units. Both of them together on the pro grade unit and we're 9.9 .9 ounces. Both of them together on the box store unit and we're 9.7 ounces. On our way down is the temperature pressure relief valves. We can totally tell the difference. There are also different manufacturers between the two. Pro grade unit, 9.1 ounces. Box store unit, nine ounces. So let's pull these drain valves off real fast. Pro grade drain valve, 5.6 ounces. Box store drain valve, 2.4 ounces. Here's the two covers that we were talking about earlier in the video. This one's a lot flimsier than this one. So they're, they're obviously not manufactured on the same supply line, same assembly line on the same day. These are different pieces. Pro grade cover, 7.8 ounces. Box store cover, 6.2 ounces. Now we're gonna pull out the burner assembly and inspect it for differences. Here on this burner assembly, we have no holes. It's got a 22 stamped into it. There's no holes anywhere. But over on this burner assembly, we still have a 22 stamped in it, but we have like this hole that's, that goes clean through it. Like you can see my finger through the other side of it. Pro grade unit, 
We are two pounds, 1.1 ounces. On the box store unit, we are two pounds, 1.1 ounces. Pro grade. Pro grade control valve, one pound, 12.1 ounces. Box store control valve, one pound, 11.8 ounces. We're 0.3 ounces different from one to the other. We can already tell some pretty significant differences just in the anode rod. The pro grade anode rod is wider. The pro grade one has a weld spot on the top of it. This is the pro grade anode rod, one pound, 2.9 ounces. This is the box store anode rod, one pound, six ounces. Let's go weigh the empty tanks. Box store tank, 103.6. Now let's go measure the pro grade unit, 112.8. So that's a significant difference. We got nine pounds of difference there on water heaters that are supposed to be the same heater. Now for phase two, we're gonna pipe these things together, fill them with water, use compressed air. One of them is going to pop first, and we're gonna see which one's the winner. I have a feeling these are gonna pop somewhere around 350. There is three, boom! One of them, did, we right at 350 pounds of pressure. One of them's making a whole bunch of noise. Whoa! Look at the nipples on the top of the pro grade one. The nipples on the top are moving. Now look at the nipples on the box store one. There's 407, 408. Oh, you see the box store one moving. It's starting to tip over. And there's water running out of the top of the box store one right now. 410. We're putting in 450. It's, it looks like we have 406 in the tanks. This gauge has to, oh, boom. The pro grade heater just let go. If you have any questions as to how much pressure was in there, we just shot water all the way across the parking lot. This isn't a pressure washer or anything. It's just some tanks that we put together. This is the pro grade unit. These started out looking straight up. Now they're bent and pulled over. They actually ripped into the metal. The flue connection is like this far now down inside the heater. The jacket and everything is fine. It just folded everything in on the top. Now we come over to the box store heater. It ripped the jacket open. It moved all of these around up top, sunk these down in and everything. The fronts of the heater look to be okay. You get a real good view into the bottom of the tank and see how flipped over that is. You see some really distorted metal underneath there. That is crazy. You can totally see it down here at the bottom, how much this metal swelled. And it doesn't look like it failed anywhere, except for right here. There's where it was. That crack right there is where it finally popped and let go. So now we have the two side by side again here. This was the pro grade unit. This was the box store unit. But hopefully you can see how straight this one is and how curved that one is. We've gone to many customers' homes where they've bought box store units, and the unit's 18 months, two years old, and it's already leaking out the tank. It's a thing that happens more often with the box store units, and now we know why. There's nine pounds less steel in the construction of that unit. That alone tells you everything you need to know.